Mr. Speaker, I stand here in full support of this resolution before us to borrow six million EC dollars that I am sure would benefit Denry South. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure you've heard of the Denry Saturday Fish Fiesta, what people usually call Alessa Denrya. And that is where, Mr. Speaker, since 1999, we've had an activity called the Saturday Fish Fiesta. And Mr. Speaker, I remember when I, this activity started, I had to put my hand in my pocket to get $300 to have the first activity where we had to pay a steel ban from Viewfort to perform on the beach. And I want to take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to thank Mr. Benedict James, because A.K. Godo, Mr. Mr. Godo, right? <laughs> and he was the one who really came together after the closure of Bell Fashions, Mr. Speaker. And I want to thank the former Prime Minister. When Bell Fashions closed, we had some real problems with workers there because the company left and it was the St. Lucia Labour Party government that paid off the people, the workers there at the time. Mr. Speaker, when this activity commenced, it started, we, we had 21 vendors. And every Saturday night, you would have, very, you would have difficulty driving through the streets of Denry because vehicles were parked in La Pointe and on the Fish Fiesta grounds on the high street because thousands of persons were coming to Denry to participate in the activity. Mr. Speaker, the spin-off effect was great. Our fishers would be selling the fish, the vendors would purchase ice from persons who were preparing ice deliberately for that activity, the small shops where they were buying the drinks and all of that, Mr. Speaker, including creating short-term employment for a number of our unemployed young men and women in the constituency. But Mr. Speaker, we saw a downturn from the time COVID started, because obviously during that time, most persons would have been home. And as a result, the activity started getting to a low. But luckily for us up to now, we still have two vendors still operating on the facility. But Mr. Speaker, I made a campaign promise to the people of Denry South that once I get elected and my party wins the election, I would definitely give attention to this activity. And Mr. And Mr. Speaker, I was very happy when I heard the Prime Minister mention that the Denry Fish Fiesta would benefit from the tourism, community tourism activity. Mr. Speaker, we know that Denry South, especially where the site is, is in close proximity to the Atlantic side of the ocean, and sometimes sea surges and so on can make things uncomfortable for us. So in the scope of works, we are looking at what we call a sea defense as a continuation of what we had before under the St. Lucia Labour Party during, during the term of Honorable Damien Greaves to continue extending it towards the front part of the site to be able to ensure that we do not have problems in terms of um, the sea invading the site. We are also going to construct new vending booths, Mr. Speaker, sitting facility washroom facility, Mr. Speaker, because a number of persons coming there in the past have been experiencing problems in terms of the use of the washrooms, Mr. Speaker. We are going to be improving the whole lighting on the, on the, on the beachfront and we're going to provide new, um, make provisions for new walkways, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we are also ensuring that we're going to in, um, include health and safety standards on the beachfront, Mr. Speaker, and to be able to offer to the people of St. Lucia an authentic, authentic village experience in Denry South. So I must say I'm very happy for 
the opportunity to, be, to benefit from the community tourism um, project. And I do hope, Mr. Speaker, I have the confidence, Mr. Speaker, it will create opportunities for our young people, our young unemployed people, Mr. Speaker. We know a lot of them, both men and women, have the skills in terms of singing and various forms of you know, performing, Mr. Speaker. And we've been doing that, we've seen the talents, and we believe that is an opportunity for us to be able to show, help them showcase their talents during this activity on a Saturday. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my attache for understanding the, the, the situation regarding the Fish Fiesta. And he was able to put together a very, very excellent proposal that caught the attention of the members who were actually doing the selection, Mr. Speaker. And I was happy when the Minister for Tourism mentioned that Denry South is one of the projects that have, been, have received approval under the Community Tourism Program, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm very happy, I'm very excited, Mr. Speaker, that one of the projects that I did indicate during my campaign, Mr. Speaker, that was going to be a high priority project for Denry South is going to happen, Mr. Speaker. And I want to thank the minister and everybody who made this happen. Mr. Speaker, I do not want to continue too long, but to just say I'm very happy for the people of Denry South. And I stand in full support of this resolution. Thank you. Mr. Speaker.